Hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD Deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on SAS software. I'm back with another review and today I'm going to review OpenForm. So OpenForm is a tool that lets you create forms. But the best part is you do not have to manually create everything, add every field to your form. All you have to do is to provide a little description about the kind of form that you want and the AI of OpenForm is going to create a full-fledged form for you and all of these tasks are going to take about a few minutes to complete and once you create the form using OpenForm you can also fully customize it and the great news is OpenForm is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is close to $300 but at AppSumo you are getting this tool at only $59. And as you can see, there are already six reviews. All of them are five star reviews. OpenForm is an alternative to Gravity Forms and Type Form. Now let's see all the plan and features. So here are all the features form confirmation emails, you have Slack notifications, Discord notifications, there are editable submissions, you can add custom code, you can remove the OpenForm branding, there are unlimited submissions. Unlimited fields that you can add, you can add password to your form, there is webhook integration and also a lot other features. And these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. The tier 1 is going to cost $59 where you can create unlimited number of forms. But the amount of file that can be uploaded is only 25 megabyte, And you can only add one custom domain. If you need more limits, you can opt for the license tier 2 or the license tier 3 where you have unlimited forms. 75 megabyte of file size and unlimited custom domains. So if you want to buy OpenForm on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. And if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. And something that a lot of people are going to find useful is that OpenForm is open source. As you can see, this is their GitHub page. So all of the codes are available on here. So you can edit or review the code or create various integrations using this code, which is amazing. Now let's go to the dashboard of OpenForm. And in order to create the form, you will get these three options. So you can start from a simple contact form. You can edit this further. You can use the AI to create the form or you can also use the templates. There are a lot of templates. So first I'm going to use this AI, click on this. And now you have to provide what type of form you want. So for example, I want an event registration form. So all I have to do is click on generate a form. And you can also see the amount of time that is going to take. So for this form, it is only going to take 60 seconds. So click on generate a form. So here we go. As you can see, we have got the form for event registration. And if you remember the prompt that I gave to the AI, that was very simple. Just an event registration form. And that is exactly what we have got. So here we have the name field, email field, phone number, company name, job title, which days will you attend the event. So overall, I think this is a pretty good form given the prompt I used. And the best part is you have all the editing options on the left side. So as you can see, we can change this event registration title. For example, the title is going to be, it is going to be office event registration. So as you can see, the title has changed. You can also change the description. So here is the description, which means this one. And then you also have the tags. So you can add various tags if you want. You can change the visibility if you want to make it publish or if you want to keep it to draft or if you want to close it, which means you are not going to accept any new submissions. Then there is all the form structures. So full name, which means these fields, full name, email, phone number, company name. And you also have all the customization options. And on this form structure, you can obviously add more blocks, more fields. Just click on add block. And as you can see, here are all of the input blocks that you can add. And here are all of the layout blocks that you can add to your form. But what about these forms? The forms that are already existing on your form. How to edit them? How to change settings for them? So for that, for example, I want to change the settings for this full name. So all I have to do is click on settings. And as you can see now, all of the configurations of only this full name block has opened. So if you want to exclude this field or make it record, you can change this from here. You can change the text options. You can customize this field. 
and there are also some advanced options so as you can see you can generate unique id you can generate an auto incremented id and there is also even logic so if you want to add some logic or conditions you can also do that on here you can also remove this field or block you can duplicate it or change its type so this way you can do the same for everything if you want to change this email block all you have to do is click on settings so now you can change the email settings and then we also have all the customization options so you can change the theme so it could be a simple theme it could be notion theme so as you can see the theme is now changing you can change the form width you can add a cover picture logo you can adjust the dark mode of this form and also there are a lot of settings and the best part is you can even add some integrations in order to get notifications of your form so for example someone has submitted this form you want to get email notification so just click on this and set up your email account then there are also some other integrations available so you can get notifications using slack discord webhook and even zapier which i know a lot of people are going to love and then there are also other settings that you can change so you can change this about submissions text of the submit button which means as you can see once someone wants to submit the form, he has to click on this register. You can change this. For example, you want to make it sign up. So you can also do that. You can change the database submission actions, both submission actions. There are various options as you can see. And there are even further options. So you can change the form access settings. As I have said earlier that you can also add a password to your form. So in order to do that, you have to paste your password or type your password on this box. Then there's the schedule date, which means on a particular date, the form is going to close. It is not going to take any more submissions. You can specify the date on here. You can limit the number of submissions, which means the amount of people that can submit your form. Then there are some security and privacy settings. So if you want the form to index on Google, you can enable it. You can protect your form with a captcha. So as you can see, here is a captcha. And then there are even some SEO settings. These are some of the settings that I have never seen on a form builder before. So on SEO settings, you can change the form domain, the page title, the description for your SEO. And you can also upload a thumbnail image for SEO. And then there is this custom code. So after changing and playing with all of these settings, if you're still not satisfied, you can even add your own custom code, JavaScript or CSS from here. And once your form is completely ready, you want to publish it, just click on this publish. Now we have this form submission page where you can get all of the submissions, all of the people that submit your form. They are going to appear on this box. You can also see some analytics about your form. The last 30 days analytics, so the amount of form views you are getting and the submissions that you are getting. And you want to share your form, just click on share. You can share via a link. Or you can also embed this form using this code. You can even scan it using mobile phone if you want to, if you want someone to submit your form. There are also some advanced options. So you can hide the form title or you can also enable this auto submit form, which will auto submit immediately after opening URL. And you can also regenerate your form link if you want. There are also some other options to duplicate the form, create from a template or also delete this form and about the template there are a lot of templates so as you can see now we are in this template section and there are various types of template as you can see it is a very long list and i'm sure no matter what type of form you want you can get from here as you can see there are a lot of categories as well as industries so no matter what industry you are from you're surely going to find some particular industry based forms on this template section this is a very long list of templates Overall, I think OpenForm is an excellent tool that lets you create forms and you do not have to put so many efforts or so many hours into manually creating your form. All you have to do is use the AI, give some description about the type of form that you want and the AI is going to create your form within a minute. And if you do not want that, you can also go to the template library that has over hundreds of templates and there are also a lot of industry-based templates that you can use in order to create a perfect form for you and if you want to buy open form on a lifetime deal from AppSumo make sure you check the link in the description below here are all of the features that you are going to get with this deal and here are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo 
So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software and attractive giveaways just like this.